anyway, don't for, fall for that either. And I, then I finish up by saying, spread this message to all current Trump supporters who are starting to feel the peer pressure to stay in lockstep with political correctness at the expense of finally sending someone to D.C. who's going to destroy the establishment that has become a corrupt oligarchy that is only working for their own interest against the people. That was my statement. Yeah. Drop the mic, whatever. <laughs> I don't care. So, so for some reason, Donald Trump feels the need to go on Jake Tapper's show. Well, you know, he's not turned down anybody. Right. They said he had 22 appearances on Howard Stern. Okay. <laughs> Jake Tapper does what he does as a Democrat operative. And he should have. And I, I responded to the, the video. I said, you know what, Jake? You probably should have asked Trump, hey, when did you stop beating your wife? Okay. All right. Okay. So here's the KKK soundbite with Jake Tapper. Condemn David Duke and say that you don't want his vote or that of other white supremacists in this election? Gotcha. <laughs> well, just so you understand, I don't know anything about David Duke, okay? I don't know anything about what you're even talking about with... Uh... Okay, now the fact he said, I don't know anything about David Duke is hard for me to swallow. Yeah, you, you don't However, have to go there. He didn't have to go there. He didn't have to, but... It's been a long time since David Duke's been in the news. <laughs> He's probably 90. I don't know. I have no idea. I Walk out on the street and ask, ask a kid in their 20s oh, or they 30s. Don't know. No millennials have ever heard the words David Duke together. If my wife is listening to this live, She's probably text, like, huh? text me and tell me, have you ever heard the name David Duke except for me? I, I promise you she wouldn't. My neighbor's got a dog named David D Duke. <laughs> oh! Whoa! <laughs> Whew. Okay. White supremacy or white supremacists. So I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Did, did he endorse me or what's going on? Because, you know, I know nothing about David Duke. I know nothing about white supremacists. And so you're asking me a question that I'm supposed to be talking about people that I know nothing about. But I guess the question from the, from the Anti-Defamation League is, even if you don't know about their endorsement, there are these groups and individuals endorsing you. Would you just say unequivocally you condemn them and you don't want their support well I have to look at the group I mean I don't know what group you're talking about you wouldn't want me to condemn a group that I know nothing about I have to <laughs> it's look. the KKK say, hold on hold on hold on <laughs> hold on me a list of the groups I will do research on them and certainly I would disavow if I thought there was something wrong the but you Ku may Klux have groups Klan? in there that are totally fine and it would be very unfair so give me a list of the groups and I'll let you know okay I mean I'm just talking about David Duke and the Ku Klux Klan here but I don't know any, honestly I don't know David Duke I don't believe I've ever met him I'm pretty sure I didn't meet him and I just don't know anything about him all right okay okay he slipped in the word Jake Tapper slipped in okay okay while Trump was talking, here's the KKK. Well, he did say we're just talking about the Ku Klux Klan here, right? And then he said or Ku Klux Klan. I was I always accidentally say Ku Klux Klan. It's Ku Klux Klan because they're clueless. Ku Klux, <laughs> Ku Klux Klan. Okay, which was started Jake Tapper by you and your party, the Democrats. Maybe not you personally. Yeah, let's talk about the Ku Klux Klan and here. And who started that party? Democrats. Absolutely, the Democrat okay. Party. So. So how how is it? It's not far fetched to believe that they would use that to damage a Republican. Okay, yes, Trump, stay far away from this as possible. Deny you know anything about it because whatever, Which even is what if he did. did. Yeah, I don't know David Duke. I don't know anything about David Duke. Me, Brian Smith here on Smith Radio. All I know of David Duke is that he was the grand. He was the head of the KKK. That's all. I don't know his personality. I don't know anything he's ever done. So for me to say, treat this like a cop coming up to you in a car. Hey, where you been? Well, I have no idea what you're talking about. What? I need a lawyer. I need. A, <laughs> I need hey, you been drinking? What water? What are you talking about? Drinking? What? You've got to play this and walk just. Just gently tiptoe away. I don't know. I have no idea. He didn't say the word cake. Trump. The only word he said was David Duke. He didn't say KKK. He didn't say Ku Klux Klan. He didn't say none of that. So nobody could take the sound bite and mix it all up, jumble it all up like they do, and make it sound like, uh, I support the KKK and David Duke.
Yeah, I I would I bet you if he was more like he he may have actually heard right. about it for the first time from Tapper from Tapper right. <laughs> right. because the way he answered that I would assume yes because I think if I mean you heard my answer it sounded honest it sounded very honest well very not candid. when you if you say you've never heard of the Ku Klux Klan that doesn't no sound no 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 he never said that he said I don't know anything about these groups <laughs> well, he said the supremacist group. Oh, okay. And while he was talking about, he said supremacist. I don't know anything about the supremacist. These groups you're talking about, and while he was saying that, he it doesn't sound good. He slipped the word in. Uh, Trump is talking, talking, talking. He's like, okay, 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 yeah, talking, talking. You know, all I'm doing is talking about the Ku Klux Klan and David Duke. Hey, again, I'm telling you, I don't know nothing about David Duke. Uh, yeah, I guess the thing is, is you know they're gonna run with this. They're gonna say. <laughs> Donald Trump refuses to denounce KKK. Yes, that was the title of the article posted on Facebook. Oh, jeez. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I mean, what is he, he? It's a, it's a. Will you beat my wife? Or when are you stop beating your wife? Thing. Right. Uh, when are you stop beat? Did you stop beating your wife yet? <laughs> uh, that's the kind of question. Is because. If you start, they want you to start denouncing and rejecting uh, all of your endorsements. Right. And they'll find a reason to. Obviously, this is an easy one, but they'll find a reason for you to reject every single supporter you got. Well, not only that, but that, uh, Trump is leading in everything. Let's get him as a black hating KKK racist. Right. Well, the right, thing- off, right off the heels. Of Hillary Clinton's win in South Carolina, where she pulled down 87% of the black vote. From South Carolina? Yeah. It was huge. It's bigger than what Obama pulled down. In South Carolina? Yeah. From the primary. Why would black people support Hillary Clinton? Uh, Yeah, we'll get to that. More than Barack Obama. Oh, we'll get to that. Now, keep in mind, uh, we're going to have to do a little uh, rewind history lesson real quick. There was a lot of black people when um, Barack Obama was in the primary against Hillary Clinton who were coming out openly and saying, hey, just because he's a black man doesn't mean I'm going to be voting for him. I heard people tell me, we ain't black. He's half white. Well, uh, remember, Jesse Jackson destroyed his career. Oh, it. he, he, he still so, has not recovered. He from burnt that. that ship so bad. Oh, and ain't nobody come to that island to rescue no, him. No, no, he, he's in the ocean. He's like oh, waiting. He's still doggy paddling. He's in a, oh, I thought I was going to put him in a dinghy. He's not even in he's a dinghy. He's doggy paddling. He burnt the ship all the way down. He had to jump out into the water. Now he's just treading water. <laughs> he, he's drowned. He's done. <laughs> He's done. Him and Marco Rubio choking it up. Right. So uh, basically what happened was is there was this this, um, movement amongst the black community, and it wasn't a majority of of blacks, but it was a chunk that were just like, you know what? Now, this is during the primary. Do not think that these people were- You're talking about 08. 08 primary. First first round. Do not think, do not think that these- these this group of dissidents were were thinking, well we'll we'll vote for the Republican. No 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 no. They were they were battling over who's going to support Hillary or who's going to support Barack Obama. And there was a large population of black voters, black Democrats, who were like, whoa whoa, just because he's black, don't think that we're just going to vote for him. We like Hillary, right. and that was getting worse and worse. And even um uh that's that's when uh. Uh, uh, who who we just? Oh, Jesse Jackson came out and ruined his career. He's the one that said uh, that we're going to cut his nuts off. Remember that? Right on a hot mic. Yes, the hot mic caught him uh, saying something about cutting his nuts off to about Barack Obama. It wasn't until Oprah Winfrey said, "Listen, all my people, all my peoples, you got to vote. You got everybody. You need to stop bickering and everybody rally around." Barack Obama. It wasn't until Oprah Winfrey united black voters behind Obama that Obama took off and won the primary. He was losing the primary. Hillary had a commanding lead. It looked insurmountable. There were reports from everywhere, Republican, Democrat sources, uh, media, all over that were saying, I think this is over and Hillary's got the nomination. It wasn't until 
Oprah finally came out and said, everybody, calm down. Everybody, stop fighting. Everybody, let's unify behind Barack Obama. And and I give 100% of all the credit for Obama getting elected or even winning the primary to Oprah. Right. Oh, turn it down a little bit. Yep, got it. So what was the word said? He said, uh, about, talking down about uh, the black, black pe- faith, faith based faith, people. But, okay. Right. I want to cut his dick off. So he said he wants to cut Barack Obama's nuts off. And, and that was, he's on a new set waiting to go on air. And he's saying that next to a black man. It, uh, apparently he's a, Whoever it is, it's the it's the other guy that was with him. Yeah, dear. can't do that to another black man. And then oh, uh, the Oprah, she she waved her magic wand. She did before she did that. And was it, it, he was losing, and and uh, the media had pretty much christened Hillary Clinton. Oh, yeah. as the prime, like as they're the doing, nominee. like they're doing now. Yeah, but she's doing nowhere near as good as she did against Barack Obama. She was doing very well. It wasn't until Oprah pulled the rug out from under her. Right. Oprah did it. Oprah got Obama elected, period. Right. And that is a historical fact. You can take it to the bank. Right. Because it, because it would have been Hillary versus probably Romney. Or not Romney, McCain. McCain. And uh, and McCain probably would have beat Hillary. I don't know. I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. So. Oh, I'm sorry. That was back when uh, the whole country had been properly um, propagandized against Bush, and since Bush was the face of the Republican Party, that was a sweeping election. So it didn't matter. Whoever won the Democrat primary was going to be the next president. So right. There, there is no... McCain had no chance. No, not even close. He had no prayer. We knew, we knew he didn't have right. a chance. Right, and it was... And like we started off the show today, we were so angry at you all for not fighting it. Oh, fighting the 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 propaganda with the, during the Bush years, right? Yes, fighting yes. that because we saw Bush get get set sail, and then you put McCain up in there. And the funny thing is, oh, is and then McCain wouldn't fight at all. He would not. No, he was so deathly. Remember afraid. Remember the woman at the rally that said he's a Muslim, and he said, "No, no, he's a good family man. He's a good family man. He's a good family I know man. Him. I know him. I know him. I'll give him a fist bump for that. Right." He's Maybe a, good a hug. Family, man. I know him. I, I know just his donated family. his campaign because of what you said. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> but he was already he was done. <laughs> he was he had already served his eight years. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> you no, know, John McCain said I'll donate to Barack Obama. Oh, Barack Obama campaign because yeah. because I got I got this combobulated because of what you said. Yes, I'm gonna get Barack Obama some money. Yeah, for every time somebody calls him a Muslim, I'm going to give him 100 bucks. There you go. 100 bucks. A C Drag note. <laughs> give him a C note. I think I do a good a good impersonation of him. <laughs> and I'm not I'm 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 a good patriot. Of course. Yes, of course. Of course. Anyway, so okay, since we're on the black thing, Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders this weekend, yesterday actually, Saturday, had their primary in South Carolina. Okay, and it, it it's it's amazing. This is off Breitbart News. Hillary Clinton is on pace to beat Bernie Sanders by about thirty seven oh, points. Oh, I saw those in South yeah, Carolina. Those numbers are outrageous. In big. large part because of our huge eighty seven to thirteen margin amongst black voters. So black voters that are Democrats uh, of uh, black Democrats. Just don't like Bernie Sanders, I guess. Right. Saying. It's all the pajama boys that like Bernie Sanders. Right. Okay. White pajama, white pajama boys. So Clinton did even better among black voters than President Barack Obama in 08, according to exit polling. Her victory re- speech reflects her coalition. Um, quote, We also have to face the reality of systematic racism. That more than half a century after Rosa Parks sat and Dr. King marched and John Lennon, I mean John Lewis, 
bled. Still 